All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Tragic Life here with Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. Um, last video, we dealt with the director or the, uh, uh, the developer's room, I think it was. Yeah, we did the developer's room, and we talked about the... Excuse me, just woke up. Uh, we talked about the... Uh, Tales and what you could turn them in for, as well as we created a couple of Admetite armors. You can only do so much. Um, so today we're going to go ahead and continue on. Um, so we're going to go back. While you're here, you'll notice that this, there's this place called the Depths. Go ahead and check in there. There's not much here, but you could shop. And this person sells some really good stuff. You can buy your expulsions, ethers, dry ethers, elixirs. So, I mean, as you can see, they're really expensive. But also important, uh, the weapons he sells he is. Let me see. Uh, shuriken. Different shuriken. Well, that's always so awesome. So we're gonna go back to the little well, and we're gonna go back to the thirteenth floor. Uh, it's the day after Christmas, and I am tired. Um, thankfully, I have no plans tonight. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button, that the subscribe button, and leave me a comment. <laughs> Let's conversate. Alright. <sighs> Gotta have my morning coffee. Alright, let's continue forward. Alright. Music kicking in. Alright. Alright, that was two uh, Dark Sages and a Green Maiden. We're going to find out if I'm in the right area in a second. I am, yay, it was a Crystal Shield. So the last fight was a Moon Maiden and a Dark Sage, and that one was a Silver Dragon. That was another Moon Maiden and Dark Sage. That was another Silver Dragon. It's a little bit mazy if you can't sell. Okay, now we just go straight down until we get to the next area. Alright. Two chest in view. Alright, that was another Moon Maiden and a Dark Sage. Seems to be the fight up here. Yeah, 
Yeah. That was an armored fiend, a moon maiden, and a dark sage cat ear. Uh, gives a plus five speed, not that great uh, compared to like Goblin Mask or Black Cow. Uh, it does, however, have the best magic defense in the game, so if you're really aching for magic defense, it's good for you. Okay. Feels like our uh, random encounter rate is ramped up. Alright, so we got a dry eater as well. Got another X potion. All right, that was a gold dragon. They do a lot of constricting. I think I showed a fight earlier. Um, okay. Uh, weird. Okay. That was a gold and a silver dragon. Kind of a mean fight, but okay. Um. Okay, so we're going to go left path first. That was a bow dragon. I don't feel like that fight. Alright, we got an X potion. All the way back up. Alright, that was another gold and silver dragon. Oh, that was another gold and silver dragon. We're doing pretty good on levels. That was a bone dragon. Now we got a protect ring. Alright, that was a armor fiend and a gold dragon. We're gonna go ahead and do some magic real quick. Alright, that was a blue dragon. They're throwing all the dragons at us, if you can't tell. Oh, <clears throat> Makes sense, we are at the end game, and they are pretty strong. Okay. Uh, wasn't expecting that. So, now what? <laughs> Alright, I mean, no, no, that's too many dragons. Got a remedy here. Brave suit, uh, pretty nice 10 plus speed, stamina strength with decent defense. Probably not going to be better than this, but let's take a look at it. Anyone here even wear it? That was a bone dragon. Teleporter. Alright. Go bass. Ah, Cecil. Alright, I'm glad to see you back. So if Gobez dies, you don't get to see him. Just a heads up. And the same to you as well. I cannot say for sure what our enemy was going was doing to my mind. But within my heart, it was as if the light was slowly fading away from me deep inside. 
I felt so isolated. I was inside a world of profound darkness. However, I still had faith, faith that Rosa and Cedar and my, and my friends would come to my aid. But I must admit, I certainly did not expect you to be among my saviors. Cecil. So thank you, my brother. If you need to thank someone, thank Pasoya. What? It was he who sent me to you, putting his own body on the line in the process. Pasoya did that? He did. So it was Pasoya that sent you back. Yes, but I had also had enough of hiding. Oh. Indeed. So you are no longer ashamed of your name, Gobes. No, I have lived up to my sins and myself. Okay. <sighs> Okay, so we got some fights now, some bosses. Um, we're good to go. I'm gonna save because there's a chance that this might get a little painful. So, Crystal shatters, filling the room with an ominous presence. As it thickens, the aura begins to take form before you. Revealing the great oppressor of the soil, Lich, the fiend of earth. Alright, so this was the fiend of earth from the original Flat of Fantasy. Um... Well, you can kind of guess what the next four bosses are going to be. Um, so he has 58,000 life. He has decent physical attack. Uh, likes to use Quake and Bio. However, he isn't too impressive as an enemy. His weakness are easy to hit since the Excalibur and God Hand are both holy ele elementals and his attacks are very strong. If your white mage is decently leveled, she'll know holy. Your black mage doesn't need fire. Your player meteor. Fire Aga is plenty good enough. Combine with a couple of good bands from the people who don't have holy or fire. Um, and Lich will fall in a couple rounds. Okay. So what do we have? We don't have any of that. Right now. I have a feeling this is going to be a quick fight. He's very weak. that death himself I felt a sudden dread course through my veins that was different that was a different crystal from the one in Troya certainly imagine an undead creature more powerful than Scarmoyle was he though a monster who wielded death 
are are there more of those coming up for us? Do we have an assassin's dagger? I don't know who can rock this. because that was a great marvel. That was probably harder than the boss. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and use another cottage. And we're going to go to the upper right path now. So this is going to be kind of cool to see what they've done with the old school Final Fantasy 1 boss. I don't think we've seen either one of these bad guys, so I'm gonna keep them both in. Kinda mean that they make me fight before the boss, but whatever. Alright. <laughs> so, you are the ones who dare to disturb the great Merilith's slumber. I will not let you rust my fire force away from me. Indeed, you will be burnt to cinders by my flame. Cool. Alright, she looks cool. So uh, she's the fiend of fire from there is no one. Um her main offense are normal attacks and fire echo. Um I also saw her use Blaze, which did a lot. Um as you probably noticed from past that her user loses HP. I had already done a number on Merilith when she cut loose Blaze for the first time. Okay, so it doesn't really give me any way to fight her, so she's probably not this wrong. It also doesn't tell me what her life is. Um, I don't think I want to do that. does hit kind of hard. I'm going to catch Shell next. now yeah he was saying that blaze hurts he was not lying i'm not even sure if the person that wrote this guy is a he or she but...
All right, there we go. That's two down. Crystals must we face. Now that's what I call a battle. Ooh, what a challenge. What was that crystal all about? <laughs> are you telling me the monsters are will be stronger yet? But what are these horrible monsters coming from the crystal? Why are these? Wait. Rising sun. Ah. Okay, it's a strong boomerang type sword. All right. come here again um i wish i didn't have to run to walmart before work otherwise i would do more um but we're gonna go to college here um you got two bosses we got two more in this area um if you've been following path uh we got kraken and tiamat uh so this would be fun uh so until next time adios amigos <laughs>